back to Expresso here on SABC3. Now, throughout the show, we've been giving you really handy tips on how to use up the old in order to make way for the new. And we are keeping with that concept this morning as Kate George joins us in the kitchen and we are making something that I know every one of us loves, chocolate lamingtons. Good morning, Kate. How are you? Good morning. Fine, thanks for yourself. Very good, thank you. So today's theme, how are we using up the old to make way for the new? Well, we've got some dear old bread here. Some Sasko bread, yes. Yeah. And we're going to use that in our lamingtons instead of using a sponge cake. Okay, so we can do that yeah. as well. Nice. So what I'm going to do is just start off by taking the crust off the yeah. bread. So this is the unsliced Sasko bread. I do like the unsliced. For um, people like me that really, really love their, their carbs, um, you can cut thicker slices. I know, I agree. Stick. They make the best toasted sandwiches. Lovely. Okay, so now once you've cut off all the sides, we're just okay. going to pop that into... No, what I'm going to do now, so I've cut off the slime, yeah. the, this crust, and I'm just going to cut it down the centre okay. horizontally. And we're going to fill it with some jam. Ooh, yum. So you can use some jam. Strawberry jam is probably the nicest because we're going to coat it in chocolate. Okay. But I think something like a little bit of chocolate spread might be delicious as well. Okay, yeah, definitely. Okay, so we're going to pop our strawberry jam in here. I can't believe how easy and so how versatile this is going to be, especially if you do mm. use the Sasko bread. Um, then it takes the, you know, the, the, the easiness. And of course, every one of us have, has bread at home, so yes, it's not too difficult absolutely. to make this. Okay, so what I've got here, we're going to do a little chocolate sauce for the bread to dip into. All right. So I've got some milk and some butter that I've just melted on the stove. Okay. And we're going to add a little bit of cocoa to that. Nice. And some vanilla. Okay. And finally, a little bit of icing sugar. So we're basically just making a chocolate icing. Oh, lovely. Stirring that all together. The heat from the warm milk and butter mm. is going to make a nice syrup. Ooh, okay. Making a bit of a mess here. There we go. Well, while okay. you stir that, if you would like the ingredients list for what we're making this morning, all you have to do is, is SMS the word SASCO to 33728 and we will send along your pick and pay shopping list to you. And of course, you could be making this very quick, very easy and very sweet and delicious chocolate lamington recipe. We're using day old bread. So that takes the recipe to a whole nother level of ease. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is cut this into about five centimeter squares. Yeah. So we'll just do it like that. Mm -hmm. And then, oh dear. Lovely. And then what we're going to do, I've got some, to some desiccated coconut here. Yeah. So what we'll do is just take our lamington, mm -hmm. dip them in the chocolate nicely. On all the sides. Yeah. Um, you can use a fork here if you want to, because it is just a you little might burn. bit warm. Hey. Yes. Do you want to use a fork? No, that's fine. Are you good? Because you're okay. fish, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we're just going to dip it into the Ooh, coconut. Yeah. Like that. This is so good. And then you just want to leave it to cool and leave the icing to set before you eat them. And then when they're done, that's what they're going to look like. Your beautiful, quick and easy chocolate lamingtons using bread. I oh, know, amazing. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Kate, for being here with us and for showing us this very quick and versatile recipe. Um, I know that whenever you're here, we always make very <laughs> delicious things. Thank you very Wonderful. much. Wonderful. Well, for all our school uh, students that have gone back to school today, I know that you're probably at school, so your parents are going to have to give you this message from us. We hope that you have an amazing day, and I hope that this year is going to be successful for everyone every single one of you from our Espresso family. Like Ethan said earlier on, we love you more than you love us. And we all love each other the same way. Have a great day, guys. We love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>